Hi everyone, today we're going to be making a side stepper card. Now this one's for my husband, so we don't tell him. But these are pretty easy to make, and I've made it even easier. If you have a way to cut an SVG, go to my website, KarenCreatesCards.com, go over to the Foldopedia, scroll down, and you will see a side stepper um, SVG. You also see ones for all kinds of other stepper cards too. Download it. And then upload it to your cutting machine like a Cricut or a Cameo, whichever one you have. And I know a lot of you have those Cricuts sitting there not doing anything. Get it out. And that way you don't have to do the measuring. doesn't matter if you make one card or ten. The machine will cut it out for you. And you won't have to measure anything. You won't have to get out a straight edge. You won't have to do any of that. So do that if you have a Cricut or a Cameo or a Scan and Cut or any of those other machines. If you don't, there is a template where you can print that out and get the same measurements. And then you just cut it with, you know, scissors, trimmer, and that way. So um, so definitely go look, get the templates. And there's templates for 75 different card folds on there now. So definitely go take a look. And we will get started on this one and I will turn the camera around. All right, so this is the one I showed you a second ago. And we're gonna use two of the stamps from the Crafty Mayriki set. I'm going to learn to spell to pronounce her name yet without looking. Uh, it's my hero. And this is really, this is really nice. It has all kinds of things on here. I used it in the last video and we're going to use it again because this really is quite nice. So we're going to put two of them up on foam. We're going to put something over here and then we're going to put a message down here. Uh, the paper I'm using is from Pink and Main Warm Basics Pack. And that's going to be this yellow paper right here. We're going to make a green card with the yellow. And then here's our stamping paper will go on top. And I have already stamped these out. You've seen me stamping up things, but we'll just color those in. So this is the template I was talking about. So it's a 7 by 10. And then... Two, is it two inches? Two inches over. You have a you, have, you cut here where the red lines are. You score where the blue lines are. And everything is all labeled here. So you're going to score at one inch, two inch, and six inches. The two inches in. From where you're going to cut it at that two inch line, you're going to score at five inches going across this way. So this is for the five by seven card. And then your mats are going to be three fourths by one and three fourths. That's this one. It's this little one here for this little piece here. And there's not going to be anything smaller than that to put on there. Then your square is four and three fourths by four and three fourths. And then your white paper is then four and a half by four and a half. This side piece over here is three and three fourths by one and three fourths. And then if you want to put something here in the middle, it would be three and a half by one and a half. And then these are gonna go on here and we're gonna put a message down here. So let's move all this to the side and we will get started. So we have our base. So this is seven by 10. We move it up here so one inch up you're going to cut a line from the one inches to six inches two inches over and you're then going to score at where you started at the one inch and at two inches and you're going to score again at the six inches where you finished cutting this line and then from where you cut the line over here you're going to score at five inches down and this is the template that you can print out from the website. And that was KarenCreatesCards.com under the Foldopedia. So that is that. All right, so let's start with coloring these little guys. So I'm going to use the back of this scratch paper. And let me grab some pens. All right, so I grabbed a bunch of colors and let's we'll get started with this. So the skin tone I'm going to do this time is E5 three. So 
that's that right there. So let's start by coloring in everybody's skin. I got a little carried away there and went over his eye, but that's fine. I'm going to grab my zero, 00 and I'm just going to bleach that color right on out. And that will be fine. You can see the color coming out. And just move it around. That way the paper can absorb the color. All right. We have a little shadow under here. Go back around the eye, his hands. Let's see. That's all the skin for that one. So the little girl here, we need her hand. We'll need her face. And that is Molly snoring because she's in position behind me. All right, we'll do his face, his neck, his ear. Let's see. I think that's all the skin. There we go. So let's see. So let's give the little girl a pink top. Oh, that is a bright pink. I did not think it was going to be that bright. All right. So she has a, we'll give her some blue pants. So that's why I normally test it before I touch it to my paper. That's a little bright. That's hers. So let's give her some, let's see, I guess some tan shoes. I guess we'll give her tan shoes. Mm, I don't think I like that. Let me give her gray. I'm just going to go over that with the gray. I'll end up with like a taupey color. There you go. That's better. Gray shoes are better. And we'll give the dad some gray shoes. see you get dark gray I'm gonna do the bottoms of his shoes dark there we go and we'll give him some jeans let's see oh, that's a good color for jeans I do like the color with the line I'm coloring against on top. I just find it easier to see it. There we go. I'm going to go one or two shades lighter for the cuffs in his pants. Let's see if this will work. That will work. You roll up your jeans. The inside of your jeans is always lighter. Let's see. We'll give him, let's see, we'll give this dad a blue collar on his shirt. Yeah, that's good. Let's see, I went over that a little bit. Bring my light down a little bit. I've got to see a little bit better. There we go. Make sure I'm not blaring you out there. Oh, that's good. All right, so let's see. Let's give this dad. Let's 
Let's see. We'll give him green stripes in his shirt. Let's see, now this dad has his mouth open a little bit, so let's color in his tongue. So now he needs, let's see, should we give him a gray shirt? Oh, that's a little dark. Let's see, that's better. We'll give him a gray shirt. This is all his arm. That looks good. Now this dad, uh, let's see if this is going to be this one. Let's see, well the teddy bear is going to be brown. So let's color the teddy bear. And I think we'll give this little girl dark hair. We'll give her dad hair that's a little lighter. So this is 7-7. Seven, seven. So let's see. There's 4-7. That's a little lighter, all right. I just didn't want to put, since their heads touch, I didn't want to put the same color on both. So I thought I might lose it a little bit. Yeah. All right, we'll put, um, let's see. Put light color hair over here. Some darker hair on the dad. So all we have left is this dad shirt. Let's see. We gave him blue cuffs, so let's give him, oh, what color? Let's see. A yellow, we can give him a yellow shirt. Right. Just clean that up a little bit. So I'm trying to go fast here. And the child, let's put the child in a blue shirt. Yeah, the child can have a dark blue shirt. There we go. So there we go. There's her dad's. Move all the pins out of the way. So these are gonna go on here and I'm gonna edge it in green. 
And then I'm going to stamp it. I'm only going to edge it first because I don't want to smear it after I stamp it. Because once I stamp it, I'll have to let that dry just a little bit. And I'm just doing this to soften the edges so it's not so stark with the white. You absolutely can leave it white if you want to. All right, so there's that. And this is Gina K. Apple Mint. It's a nice light green color. All right, so this is going to go on here. But first, let's decide what sentiments we want to use. Let's see. I was thinking of combining a couple of these. So I was thinking you will always be number one for being there for me. Move this out of the way. All right, so if these two things are going to be here, and those are going on foam, so we'll put those on after we stamp. So being there for me will be on the bottom. You will always be, because this one is much shorter than this one, so we can put that up there. And number one. thinking something along these lines. Put this here and that here. I think that will be fine. Let me grab my stamping platform. Slide this in on my sticky mat. Make sure those are where I want them. Move this over a little bit, I think. I'm going to move it this way. This bottom one needs to be in the middle. That looks good. So we'll move these out of the way. We'll pick that up. There we go. Let me take, I'll put those away in a minute because we still have the other side to stamp. So let's go ahead and put foam on these. And I'm going to use the 1 16th foam. So that panel is complete. We will glue it on here. All right, now we'll set this aside for a minute and we will grab the other piece. Now this piece is kind of small, so I was trying to decide what to put on this one. I want to put something on here. So the dad fits. The dad fits like this. So I think I'm going to put the dad and the hearts. Just 
Just stick those over there for now. Let me grab the dat, put this paper down. So dad will be in the middle here. I can either put it straight or I could put it sideways. I think because of the trim underneath, I'm going to put it straight. And then there's these three hearts here. So I'm going to put one here. And actually, this one is plain. So I'm going to put this one on the bottom with that. Move the dad up. Because I won't see the bottom one inch of this. So this is going to be closer to the top. Here, let me grab the card base. I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to lose an inch here of this paper. So if we want it to look like it's in the middle here, we need it to be basically like here. Because that's going to be the middle of what we're actually going to see. So that's going to go there. We'll put, whoops. These are sticky because they are new. So we'll put one up here. We will put the plain one down here. And the other one, one has little lines and one has dots on it. So we'll put the other one down here. I'm thinking like this. If I can get it to stop sticking to me. We'll grab my black ink again, move this before I get ink on it. These also I did not prime. Oh, that came out pretty good for not being primed. That's good. Put all that away. I have a pile of stuff growing over here. All right, so now we have this. Let's bring in our base. So let's go back again, look at it. So this is the one that was scored and cut. So I just then folded all the score lines. So this is gonna go here. So let's glue this down. Then we can make some decisions about this dad one. All right, so this is going to be here. Now this little three quarters of an inch by one and three quarters piece is going to be down here. Smear the glue a little bit. All right, so that will be down here. So now what leaves us is this part here. So this is, let me glue this down so I know how this is going to go. All right, that is going to slide in here like that. All right, so now we have some decisions to make. So this is going to sit in here like this. So do we want to color the hearts, color in the letters? I think I am going to do both. So let's see. I think the dad will color in the dark blue. For the hearts, let's see, I think I'll do a light blue, polka dots, I will do yellow up here, 
and green. I think I'm going to do a lighter shade of green. I think this is closer. I think that's closer to the card base. Yeah, it's closer. All right. And I'm going to take what's left on here and just go around. Oops. It's called being heavy handed. Oh yeah, not gonna go around the dab so that was lighter. Oh yeah, that looks much better. That looks much more finished. And now this will get glued on here. This will slide in here, and just line it up with your two sides and your top all even. that's straight there we go there you will always be number one for being there for me and it says dad over here I think that's kind of cute I love this set I really really love this set I think this little dad and kids is going to make a lot of appearances and cards not just for Father's Day I mean really anything I mean he's teaching him to ride a bike they're going for a walk I mean, this this is great. I mean, these are really great ones. And here's the original again. So, yeah. All right, let me get the camera turned around. All right, so here's the one we made today. And the original is over here. So, yeah, so I hope you liked it and you give it a try. And definitely go look at that Foldopedia. There are so many folds there that all the measurements are all done for you. So definitely download those templates, download the SVGs, and let those Cricut machines cut them out for you. There you go. So if you liked it, give me a like. And I have something special coming in July for Christmas. So subscribe and you'll get a notification when those videos start coming out. Until next time, stay crafty.